Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pear Affair today. In today's topic, we're going to talk about a pound of butter. And the topic is honesty. The story we're going to refer to is a pound of butter in honesty. Very interesting topic to talk about. Very intriguing. Um, we all go through this. We all have to do this. And so we have a little story that's um, to tie it in. It's pretty cute. There was a farmer who sold a pound of butter to a baker. One day, the baker decided to weigh the butter to see if he was getting the right amount, which he wasn't. Angry about this, he took the farmer to court. The judge asked the farmer if he was using any measures to weigh the butter. The farmer replied, Honor, I'm very primitive. I don't have a proper measure, but I do have a scale. The judge asked, then how do you weigh the butter? The farmer replied, Your Honor, long before the baker started buying butter for me, I've been buying a pound loaf of bread from him. Every day when the baker brings the bread, I put it on a scale and I give him the same weight in butter. If anyone is to be blamed, it is the baker. In this situation, in life, you get what you give. Don't try to cheat others. And how many times have we been in a situation where we thought we were getting over on someone, but in the meanwhile, they were getting over on us? Or not even that they were getting over on us. And as we look back at the story, the guy said, well, Your Honor, I'm just giving him the same pound that he's been giving me. But now he's upset that he's not really getting a pound but he wants to cheat me. So it's how you treat people. If you treat people and you're trying to get over on people, it's going to come back to you. It's going to really come back to you. And one thing I'm trying to do as a father um, with my son is, and as they're, you know, little children and they're, they're watching how uh, parents interact with other people. And if, my son sees that I am trying to cheat people, be mean to people, get over on people. He's going to grow up be the same way. He may not have the same tendencies, but he's going to act the same way. He's going to be the same way. And he thinks, well, that's how life is, you know, because we are. And people always, it was a big debate about this a long time ago. The people that are with you every day, those are your role models. Those are your role models. Those people that you see on an everyday basis, those are your role models. Not the people on TV, not the people on social media. Those aren't your role models. The people who are with you every day and doing the little things with you every day. The interaction with someone. And we, we, we all have this, we all have this uh, way that we have to, you know, we have to be good to people. And sometimes... Sometimes we, we're good and we get burnt a little bit. Sometimes we think that, oh, I'm being so good, but nothing ever comes, nothing ever comes my way. It's not fair. And just like the baker, he was complaining about something. It took the guy to court saying that he's being cheated over some butter. But the baker didn't understand that the loaf of bread he gave him a long time ago that's how he measured it. Is it better to try to cheat someone or just do it the best way you can? You have to be honest. Recently, I, I was, um, I said, you know, I'm a big goal setter, but sometimes today I had a situation where I, I set this goal where I wanted to donate so much money for this fundraising. And it was in March and, you know, in the beginning of the fundraising, you're always like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll donate this amount, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, the month's over. And I, I did half of it. I, I, I raised half of it. And then I told myself, and, you know, we always had that thought. Well, you know, well, you gave half of it. No one will ever know if you gave the other half. Who's counting? Who's watching you? They'll never know. And then think about it, the, as we did the fundraiser, they've already broke the record from last year. 
they already broke the record from last year. So will that little money that you don't put in there, will they really miss it? Is it really going to matter that, oh, yeah, you said you put it in. You said you're going to give this much, but you never did. Is it really going to matter to them? Will they really miss it? I doubt it. But yes, they would, because you know that you didn't, you didn't reach your goal. You didn't do what you're supposed to be doing. And that's the thing about being honest. It's not easy, but it is easy. I'm not saying it's not easy. It is easy. Just do what you're supposed to do. Follow direction. And I know sometimes we're growing up in an area, we're growing up where we want to do things our way. And I understand that you want to do things your way. But I notice people who like to do things their way and do it what they want to, they seem to have a lot of problems. And I know that following directions is very boring. Setting goals and trying to save up and scratch up and, and, and scratch up enough money to meet your goals is hard. It's very hard. It's very hard to to make sure that you stay on that path. And the thing is, a lot of times our word, how if we tell someone we're going to donate a certain amount and you don't do it, will they come back to you the next time? For years, I could imagine these two guys that were going back and forth about the bread, the butter, and he's been thinking like, wow, all these years he's cheating me. His word is no good. And he's like, no, nah, it's, it's a pound. What are you doing? Have you come into the situation today in your life? Is it okay to get over on people? And I have the situation that I, ha I have to fix today. I have to fix a situation where... I have to fix and be honest about certain situations that I have to fix because I sleep better at night. I, I feel like that I am not. And when you, when you, when you're honest, you, you can sleep. You don't have to toss and turn. You don't feel like you cheated anyone. And a lot of times we want to take the easy way out because we think we, we think we're, you know, sm you know, we're getting over on people. I, I, when I, we, one of the things that we have to make sure that we watch, and um, lately I've been, um, as I was thinking to myself, there's a quick little story I'm going to tell you. Um, I was, um, I purchased, I purchased this business from this other um, person and there's a certain temperature that it has to stay on. Um, the hot water has to stay on a certain temperature. And then I purchased the, um, purchased the, uh, I purchased the business from this person and we're talking about the hot water and we're talking about, you know, he said, it doesn't really matter. He says, if it's supposed to be at 140, set it at 130. Set it at 130, 125. They'll never know. But you'll save, you'll save yourself, you know, you'll save yourself some money. You'll save yourself some money. And I thought about that. And then I changed. He had it at 120. And I put it at 140. And I left it, I let it sit there. And then... I noticed the increase of people were coming in to the business. And I asked them, nothing has really changed in the business. The machines are still the same. What has changed? I asked a couple of customers, they go, oh, your water is warmer now. Before, the water was so, is lukewarm. And it wasn't really getting my clothes clean. But we noticed since you have purchased a place, the water's a little bit warmer. It's a lot hotter. And my clothes come out a lot cleaner. I don't have to leave this place 
and go somewhere else and finish washing my clothes because it's all about time in, in that business. And I thought that was really important that that couple degrees brought in a lot more customers. Just that couple more degrees brought in more couples, more couples, more families, more people. Was I really saving? Any, was, it, was he really saving any money? He was driving customers away. Well, I'm trying to drive customers in. He's driving them away. Of course, my gas bill is up a little bit more, but I have people to pay for the gas bill. As we go and as we go in our day, you have to really think about what's important to you. Is being honest really important to you or is it getting over on people? And then when people get over on you, should you get upset? Because they say what goes around comes around. So make sure that you take care of all your stuff that's in front of you. And so you won't have that situation where people will say, well, he's, he's doing the same thing. We just haven't noticed it. He hasn't noticed it yet. And I thought about this story, um, how some people, they're fine with trying to get over on people all the time. Because they feel that they, they have an advantage. No one's watching them. No one's watching them at all. But somebody is watching you. Your conscience. Feeling good about yourself. Making good decisions every day. If you're just walking around always trying to cheat somebody out of something and trying to fool people. And you'll see these people. Every day you're going to see these people and be honest with you. Something's going on with those people. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it started and I don't know how to fill it out. So it's really hard to figure out what's going on with these people. I don't get it. I don't get what people are trying to do, but that's not for me to figure out. My job is to make sure that I, as a person, I do what I'm supposed to do. I do what I'm supposed to do. I do the best that I can do because your word is the only thing that you can have. If you do not honor your word, you're only going to go so far. You're only going to go so far. If you don't honor your word or back up your word, no one's going to want to deal with you. They'll deal with you in the beginning. But if you don't come through and you're not a loyal and you're not honest, don't expect to get good breaks. Just recently, I just called someone up and they said, hey, what can we do for you? But if I cheated these people, they don't want to deal with me. And you got to think long term. A lot of times we're thinking short term of how to get over on people. We have to think long term. What's the long term? Because it's a long race. It's not a short term race. And we're living in a society where everything is so fast and so quick. And we want everything so fast and so quick. And we figure the faster they can give me their money, I can cheat them out of their money. I'll be more happier. But will you really be happy? Because once it's done, it's done. I'd rather go to bed every night knowing that I didn't cheat anyone. I had a good attitude about things and I was honest. But not everyone thinks like that. Everyone thinks that's the old way of thinking. If you do what you're supposed to be doing and you have good values in you, you don't have to worry about what other people think about you. You do what you're supposed to do because you know it's right. And you don't make excuses saying this and this and this and that. The reason why I did that is because of this and this and this and that. Do what you're supposed to do and you'll be fine. You'll be very fine. But if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing, you're going to have problems. I, I know it's hard out there. I know we're all trying to take care of one thing to get rid of another thing. But we have to be, the main thing we have to do is you have to stay patient. You have to really stay patient and you have to stay on that path. I know this, you want to take shortcuts. I know you feel that people aren't treating the way that you should be treated, but it, it's not for you to fix that. It'll fix itself. Just do what you're supposed to do. And as I look back at that story, I realize that some people will think that you're the one that's cheating them over and over again, but they're the one that is causing other problems. Well, once again, I'd like to thank you for um, stopping by. 
and listening to the Parafair. As we get into um, our shows and our upcoming shows for the weekend, we'll have our guest hosts come in and talk about things. Um, thanks again for all your support. Thanks again for supporting the Parafair. And we will see you on the next one.